So the story is that there's this exhibition at the artist's space about AIDS. Artists commenting on AIDS through their art. Now last week, John Fronmeyer, the new chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts, suspended a $10,000 grant or award to artist's space because he said that this AIDS exhibition was too political at first, and then he said it lost its artistic focus. This afternoon, um, Johnny Fronmeyer of the National Endowment for the Arts reinstated the award to um, artist's space. Um, we're exceptionally pleased that the arts community, that other groups of people, that the National Council on the Arts, all have spoken loud and clear in the interest of the, this being resolved and being resolved in such a way that the artwork goes forward. Um, I think that the issues of censorship are still up. The Helms Amendment is not altered or changed in any way by this. The fact that we, uh, that artwork will continue to live under that shadow still exists. by some of the pieces there. Obviously made by gay men who have AIDS and have lost lovers who had AIDS and there's nothing like it. I mean, some of these pieces are, are so uh, imaginative and so painful and so, such fantasies, such connections of, of different things, of blood and body fluids and semen and medical objects that, um, you know, are really from within the, the experience of having AIDS. I mean, the show really, you know, is brilliant. It's incredible that such a brilliant original show would even be threatened without that the funding would be taken away. You know, it's, it's, it's really great. Yeah, some of the paintings I've seen have really been about survival, like what you have to say about yourself and how you have to express your experience in order to get by and survive when you're living with AIDS or when you're gay or lesbian in this uh, country. It's very powerful. So, how do you feel about the demonstration? I feel great. Is there, I, what's I, the reason for it? For coverage or no? The reason the is, to, of is anger to take to or? the street and stand up for a basic right of free expression and take a stand against homophobia and bigotry. And we're calling for the resignation of Fronmeyer tonight, and we're calling for an end of uh, federal censorship of the arts. So, do you see more censorship in the '90s? Or I do. Larry, the house was burned down in Missouri, where they're they were producing uh, Larry Kramer's play, The Normal Heart. I just found that out this afternoon. Nine people were arrested in New Haven and myself included because of posters like this. So what do you think in the 90s? Is the tactic uh, uh, stay at home and listen to your stereo? Stand up and take a stand. And do you think it's going to become more active in the 90s or is it going to be like the 80s and everybody will be asleep? I think that we're in a very difficult period where uh, like the abortion rights movement, for example, you can't just sit back and think everything is fine.